Hey guys, the topic of our discussion today is Delhi government's odd event formula. What lies behind it? This is basically the material that I have actually uh, seen while uh, uh, making this video. So let's start. Uh, why Delhi government has started this odd event formula and whether it has been done priorly uh, to some other place what arrangements have been made to deal with uh, all this uh, I am going to give you idea about each and everything so let's start basically it has been started to check the pollution and to curb the number of vehicles that is actually running on the road of uh, our national capital territory for implementing it the government has uh, decided to uh, deploy 10,000 volunteers and uh, this scheme will be uh, on trial basis from 1st to 15 January, today is 2nd January and uh, according to the rule uh, odd number cars will be run on odd number dates and uh, even on the even dates penalty is rupees 2000 if someone violates it it is uh, being uh, uh, people have to follow it between 8 am to 8 pm and uh, on Sunday there are as such no restrictions so government has uh, told uh, people that uh, they prefer carpooling and uh, try to use as much of public transport as possible and uh, government has made arrangements for it as well that to include buses and metro include uh, increase their frequencies and uh, they have plans to include more than 6000 buses in coming times as well but there is a long list of exemptions as well which do not have to follow this Gruel. These are emergency vehicles, fire engines, ambulances, hospitals, here, prisons, VIPs, and enforcement vehicles, defense ministry vehicles. So, uh, what this VIPs list include are leaders of opposition in Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, chief ministers of state, judges, judges of Supreme Court and High Court, Lok Ayog, CNG and electric vehicles, two wheeler and vehicles driven or occupied by handicapped persons are will not be stopped female driver are also exempted and uh, this scheme has uh, already been followed in Paris that is in France, Beijing, China, Mexico City and uh, according to the experience strengthening the public transport and giving people the last mile connectivity has a lot to do to implement this policy. Thank you.